This is what victory looks like. This is what victory feels like. For over two decades, the South Asian and Indo-Caribbean community has fought for this moment. People said this day would never come, but today we stand victorious inside of City Hall. Our time has come, and we have arrived at the table of power. Last Diwali, Mayor Adams and I laid out our vision to make Diwali a school holiday through a city-state partnership. We said we would do it, and we did. I thank Mayor Adams for being the first and only mayor in the history of our city to elevate the Diwali school holiday cause and put the force of his administration behind it. <laughs> Last Diwali, the mayor and I announced our city and state partnership to create this Diwali school holiday. And we saw it all the way through to victory today. Today, the mayor and I are proud to stand before the whole world and say that from now on and forever, Diwali will be a school holiday in New York City. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is to be enshrined in law. Diwali at last will be a holiday in our great city. So today we say to over 600,000 Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, and Jain Americans across New York City. We see you. Today we say to families from India, Guyana, Trinidad, Nepal, and Bangladesh, we recognize you. Families just like mine. My family is like every South Asian family standing behind me today. My parents came to this country from India with just $300 and a suitcase. My mom was born in a mud hut. Today I stand before you as the first Indian American woman ever elected to a New York State office. And I am also the first Hindu American ever elected to a New York State office. When I was in Albany, my mom called me every day. And in every phone call, my mom said, I have one question. Is Diwali going to be a school holiday this year? Are you going to pass your bill to make Diwali a school holiday? Make sure you get that bill passed, said my mom. And I said, Mom, I'm working on it. I'm going to try. My mom's daily call was the call of our entire community. It was the same phone call that many of you standing here made to me. It was the question every South Asian and Indo-Caribbean family has been asking for over two decades. When will Diwali be a school holiday? When will we be seen and heard and recognized as part of the gorgeous mosaic that is our city and country? Even though I was the only Indian woman elected in Albany, I was never alone in the fight. Our community was never alone. There was a force lifting us up. There was a force that said, I hear you. I will elevate you. I won't let you fail. That force was New York City Mayor Eric Adams. When everyone else told us no, Diwali will not be possible. Mayor Adams said yes. Diwali is possible. The mayor said we must come from a place of possibility, not from a place of deficit. Yep. And last Diwali, he said, yes, we are going to make Diwali a school holiday. The mayor actually calls this the city of yes. 
He said, yes, we can and yes, we will make Diwali a school holiday. And he said, not only is Diwali possible, but your community is possible. He put his entire Department of Education and his administration behind the Diwali cause. He made it clear that the South Asian community is a priority and that our community is important to him. He stood up for us. He told every stakeholder in this state that now and not later is the time for the Diwali holiday. How remarkable to have such a leader who really sees us. I know it comes from his character and also from his deep understanding of our city's immigrant communities. Many of us here have seen him deep in the ethnic neighborhoods of our city at all hours of the day and night, connecting with immigrant communities. On behalf of every South Asian and immigrant family like mine across the city, thank you, Mayor Adams. Our entire community comes together with gratitude for your leadership. And look where we are today. Myself and these great leaders of the South Asian community are standing here inside City Hall. We have never had the doors of City Hall thrown open to us in such a way by any mayor in history. The mayor saw us when others did not. And now a grateful community sees him and extends its gratitude. On the streets, they actually call him the Hindu mayor. <laughs> He does it all. The plant-based diet, <laughs> meditation, he throws colors on holy, yoga. yoga, and he was the first mayor to ever tell the story of Sita and Ram from the ancient Ramayana. Hmm. He's a regular at Sikh temple also. He truly fits the bill. So with the mayor's support, my bill to make Diwali school holiday, holiday did pass through Albany unanimously. <laughs> So many of my colleagues here today from the state legislature shared that special historic moment with us as we all came together in the state legislature to speak with one voice in support of the Diwali school holiday. And I thank my incredible colleagues for helping lift up the Diwali cause. So I join with Mayor Adams to say that from this year, 2023, and forever forward, New York City, the largest school jurisdiction in the nation, will recognize the Diwali school holiday. Today we proudly say that Diwali is not just a holiday, it is an American holiday. And the South Asian community is part of the American story. We are now saying New York is made for everyone, no matter where you came from. Once you arrive here, you are part of the New York family and the New York experience. That is our concern. No one knows this better than African Americans. Our long fight and pursuit to get Dr. King a holiday. Many states pushed back and argued. We marched, we fought, we talked. And it is only significant for this moment that we do the comparison and analogy of what Gandhi mean, meant to Dr. King. We're saying Dr. King meant a lot to Gandhi, and Gandhi meant a lot to Dr. King, and we need each other in a very symbolic and substantive way. This victory week will allow those who did not feel seen and did not feel heard. We are saying we see you, we hear you, we respect you, and your culture is part of the New York experience. Yeah. This is a city that's continuously changing, continuously welcoming communities from all over the world. Our school calendar must reflect the new reality on the ground. It cannot reflect the absence of those who are not being acknowledged. And we do it within the restraints of having a calendar that we must respect by law and we will continue to do so. The reality of the diverse communities that makes us
who we are is shown each time we acknowledge the existence of a day that we state, let's pause for a moment and acknowledge that cultural contribution. Even as borough president, this was part of my vision to see a Diwali holiday. And it should not go unnoticed that during the time that we acknowledge the Diwali holiday during my administration, we also acknowledge Juneteenth. We made this our priority and we did it. it. This is called promises made, promises kept. 